Learning Outcomes. From this lesson, you should be able to read the information into an array, print the elements from an array, manipulate an array in a problem solution. Printing the contents of the array to print the element located at index 2, we write the code print numbers at index 2, which will print 2. To print the element located in index 5, we write the code print numbers 5, which will print 8. To print all the elements in the array numbers, we must use a loop as each element must be dealt with separately. For counter equal 0 to 6, do. Print numbers, counter. End for. At the start of the for loop, the counter has a value of 0. This means that at the first iteration of the loop, the statement print numbers, counter, will be evaluated as print numbers at index 0, which means display the value at index 0. The value of counter will then go to 1. At the next iteration of the loop, the print numbers counter will be evaluated as print numbers at index 1. This will continue up to 6 because since the first index is 0, 0 to 6 is 7 numbers. Reading into the array. To allow the user to enter a value at index 1, we will write read numbers at index 1. The user enters 4. We are reading into array numbers at index 1. You must always indicate where you are accessing in the array, and each area of the array must be accessed individually. For example, to read 100 numbers into the array, you cannot write read numbers. You will need a loop to read each element separately. For counter equals 0 to 7 do. Read numbers counter. End for. At the start of the for loop, the counter has a value of 0. This means that at the first iteration of the loop, the statement read numbers at index counter will be evaluated as read numbers at index 0, which means place the value entered by the user into the array numbers at index 0. The value of the counter will then go to 1 at the next iteration of the loop, and read numbers counter will be evaluated as read numbers at index 1. This will continue up to 6 because since the first index is 0, 0 to 6 is 7 numbers.
So back to our original problem to find the sum of 100 numbers entered by the user. To solve this problem using an array, we write Find the sum of 100 numbers entered, and then check if the third number entered is larger than the average of all the numbers entered. Note well, the third number is located at index 2 in the array, since the array begins at index 0. For clarity, let us modify the question to deal with only five numbers. Let's say the user enters 3, 11, 21, 18, and 7. Please note the loop goes from 0 to 4 because 0 to 4 is 5 iterations and we are assuming that the array begins at index 0. Say the user enters 11. Counter starts at 0, which is the first position in the array. Counter then moves to 1, which references index 1. 